What is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's Default Band-Aid again and I'm super excited to bring you guys this gameplay video of Duel Links. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh based game, if you couldn't figure that out by uh, this guy on the bottom, Yami Yugi. And uh, basically I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can like get ready to PvP battle because there is PvP battles on this game thankfully so you can now duel duelists all over the world. <clears throat> that have all sorts of different cards that you can buy in the game, as you might have guessed. And I'll show you the best way that you can get cards. So first off, this is a shop. The regular shop that you use gems for, right? So you go in here, and then right now there's three different packs you can get. Ultimate Rising, Age of Discovery, and New Neo Impact. I'm most interested in the Ultimate Rising, because it has one of the most powerful cards in the game. Which is the ultimate, ultimate blue eyes dragon. So blue eyes ultimate dragon. He is a level 12, I believe. Yeah, he's a level 12. That's what those stars are on the top. And that means that to be summoned, he will have to be tribute summoned by two monsters. So you'll have to have two monsters out in the field that you basically sacrifice to bring him alive. So you're probably wondering... Default, how can I get a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Well, first off, you'll notice that right now, <clears throat> he's very, very rare, as he should be, because if everyone had a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, dueling wouldn't be very fun. So, I'll just show you the odds of getting him. Just just a little, just to show you how rare it is. So, there's 171 Ultimate Rising packs, which have three cards. And out of all these cards that are left in the packs, these are the cards left in the packs. There is a one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon left out of 171 packs. So hopefully I'll get it. I'm going to be doing a pack opening video where I open 10 packs at once. And hopefully I can have some luck there. I might up it to 20. But <laughs> I really don't want to wait for someone else to get that Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But who knows? It might be the last pack. So I might even wait till 20 to 25. But anyway, let's get on with the video because you're probably interested on how can I get some money so I can afford cards like that. Well... First off, you'll notice these little yellow things all over the map once you complete, I think it's like mission four or five. And those are basically gate keys that make it so you can use this gate to battle uh, bosses like Joey Wheeler or, I, I'm sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. I'm just going to call her T for now. I'm just going to call her T. Not because I think that's how her name's pronounced, just because that's the first letter of her name. So yeah, this one, she has two fights. <clears throat> and as you can see, it costs the gate keys to duel her. But the fastest way, once you first start to make money, to get these gems so you can play and get some good cards for online, is go over to this duel school. And this is on the first page, right on the gate. Go to the duel school, talk to this lady, and do all the duel quizzes. Do every single one. Because these literally take a minute of your time, and you get 15 gems. So if you get, what is it, like, you win three of these, you have enough to buy one pack of three cards. So basically, like, each one of these is basically giving you a card. And the one below this actually gives you a card. But I'll just do this one real quick, just to show you how much time it takes. Right now, um, we are three minutes and 40... Or 3 minutes and 50 seconds on the video. Let's see how long it takes to finish this. I don't think it should take very long. Less than a minute. Alright. You are true. I expect nothing but your best strategies. Okay. Win this turn. And that's what all these things say. Pretty much. So what's this do? Select one card and field and destroy it. If the selected card is set, pick up and see the card. If the spell card... If it is a spell card, it is destroyed. If it is a trap card, return it to original position. Okay. Well... Uh, I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> yep. I'm going to use it on that one. That's powering up that card. Bring him down to 1,000 attack so I can attack him. Slide that forward so it goes in the attack phase. And then I'll attack him. Inflict 10 or 100 points of life point damage to the trainer. And then I win. And that literally took less than a minute. Three, mi three seconds less than a minute. So you can check that in the time of the video. That literally took us less than one minute. So you can do all of these in pretty much the same amount of time. And then you'll have, after you finish all of these, you'll have enough to probably get 
<clears throat> 10 packs or so. Not to mention there's the dual quiz level 2 down here and dual quiz level 3 that are unlocked at different stages. But I th that leads me to believe that the dual quiz level 1 is unlocked at a specific level. So if you find that level, please leave a comment below because I'm not exactly sure what that level is. All I know is I went here, started doing the training, and I was like, wow, I can already do this. So if there is a level that's required for level 1 dual quiz, let me know. I'm not sure if there is. But that's the best way to make money early in the game, anyway. Now, to start the PvP fights, I believe you have to get to level 4. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's level 4. And you basically go to PvP, and then you click this. And then you can do ranked duels, or casual duels, or whatever you want to do, really. But um, another thing is that a lot of people don't know, is you'll notice on the top of my screen I have... Almost 1,500 gold. Now, most people that play this have no idea what that is. Like, people ask in here all the time, what are the coins for? Trade the cards. Where's the card trader? Well, there's actually this card trader that apparently shows up at stage 7. Like, you're on mission. I'm on mission stage 6. Once you get to stage 7, apparently this guy shows up someplace. And you can basically trade the cards you have that you don't want for gold and then use it to buy more cards, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And I think I've already shown you guys how to make money. If you want any more tips or tricks for this game, uh, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. I'll probably make a ne my next video on dueling online. See ya, YouTube.